mga tanong Akong naririnig May pag-asa pa bang sisikat sa gitna ng dilim Narito't nag-iisa, haharapin pa ba ang umaga? Saan patutungo ang buhay kung wala ka pa? Oh, kay hirap sabihin ang pangalan mo Kung ang puso ay alipin pa sa takot at galit Sabay-sabay nagtatanong, sabay-sabay nakatuon Saan pa ba lalapit, kundi sa Diyos na pag-ibig? Tayo na, tayo na, sa lubungin natin siya Lapit na, lapit pa, si Jesus sisingilang na Awit na, lakas pa Si Jesus nandito na, gising na, sundan na, tunog ng kampana, tara na. May pagbabagong, handog ba siya sa atin? May pag-asa pa bang pusong uhaw sa pag-ibig? Narito at nag-iisa, naganap ng kasama. Sa buhay kung wala ka pa Oh, kay hirap sabihin ang pangalan mo Kung ang puso ay alipin pa sa takot at galit Sabay-sabay na katuon, sabay-sabay na lilingon Sa taong may sugat, paaniyahe pagpapatawad ikaw na, ikaw na, o Jesus ang pag-asa Ikaw na, o Jesus, ang Pasko ng biyaya Halina, halika, puspusin ang ligaya Ikaw na, ikaw na, ang Pasko ng handog ng Ama Ikaw na May pagkakataon sa buhay natin May pangungulilat pangamba May kaaway at nagdurusa Sa awa ng Diyos, habag niya ang tutubos Tayo na, tayo na sa lubungin natin siya, lapit na, lapit pa Si Jesus sisingilang na, awit na, lakas pa Si Jesus nandito na, gising na, sundan na Tunog ng kampana, tara na Ikaw na, ikaw na, o Jesus ang pag-asa ikaw na, O Jesus, ang Pasko ng biyaya Halina, halika, pususin ang ligaya Ikaw na, ikaw na, ang Pasko ng handog na Ama Ikaw na, ang Pasko ng handog na Ama Ikaw na, ikaw na, ang pag-asa Ikaw na, ikaw na Isang magandang-magandang araw po ang magandang buhay, mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, Doing All for the Gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng mga pari, brothers, seminarista po ng Society of St. Paul sa Pilipinas at Macau. At gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng TV Maria, ang ating pong mission partner. Kayo po'y aming tinitipan na makiisa dito po sa ating Sambuhay TV Mass. Ngayon po, ang ikalima ng Enero, 2020. Biro mo yan. Ito po ang unang linggo ng Enero, unang linggo ng taong 2020. At ngayon naman po, 
ang huling linggo din ng uh, tinatawag po natin na uh, Christmas season sa liturya ng simbahan sapagkat ngayon po ay pinagdiriwang natin ang Solemnity of the Epiphany na nung araw higit na kilala bilang kapistahan ng mga magu, kapistahan ng mga hari. Ito yung tinatawag din po ng Christmas carols na the 12th day of Christmas. No? And uh, greetings po sa ating mga kasambuhay, mga homebound, mga may sakit, yung mga cancer patients po natin. No? Ang caregivers po ninyo. At gayon din po yung ating mga persons on duty, police, militar, doktor. No? At uh, syempre po ang ating mga OFWs na hindi po nakauwi ngayong Pasko. And uh, we'd like to greet and to pray para po sa ating mga Canada-based na mission partners. Pinangungunahan po ni Brother Alex Pideris, uh, Dorothy Santos Merck, Annie Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes, Joy and Alex Reyes, Dr. Joe Adorna, Guzman and Alicia Adorna, at yung iba't iba po ninyong mga kanya-kanya mga pamilya. Siyempre, No, and we'd like also to pray para po sa ating mga long time na kasambuhay, ang Masigan family, Chowa family, Arohado family, Villarus family, ang J. Jacob family, ang pamilya po ng San Miguel diyan po sa uh, Muntinlupa, uh, Mandal, oh, Muntinlupa, tama. Ah, uh, Marikina. <laughs> Marikina. Uh, si Irma at Delio San Miguel. Si Mariel Diaz ng Standard Marketing and Trading. At gayon din po si Corazon Ochoa, Rosita Kauyan dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong. And uh, si Alma Gonzalez of course. And ang ating pong mga long time love offerers. Si uh, Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban. Leilani Paladio Himotea. Greetings din po sa ating mga pilgrimage groups. No? Ang spell group ng March 2019, ang Holy Land group ng Journeys of Faith ng October 2018, pinangungunahan po ng mga paring sina Father Randy, Charlie, Joe Abs, si Father Joy, at gayon din po ang ating mga kaibigan na sina Uh, Grace, uh, si Marie Joyce, si Geraldine, si Doktora Cora, si Jimmy, si Attorney Jane, uh, si Nino, si Willie at uh, Arlina Onglao, uh, si Anton at si Juliet, no? ang uh, mag-asawang uh, Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok, ang grupo po ni Chrissy, uh, uh, ni Hyla, ni Rosalie, Si Rose Bell at si William D. At gayon din po si Dana, si Kathleen at si Tal at uh, si Grace Pulido Tan at Nonoy Tan at si Silbet at Juliet Estolas at gayon din po si Iris at Val Rivero. Ang Recto Group ng March 2019, ang Workers of Christ Group sa pilgrimage ng uh, 2019 at gayon din po ang grupo ng uh, Journeys of Faith ng October-November 2019 sa pangunguna po ni Lady Bird, ayan, si Ramon, no? si Maricel Salapantan, uh, si Gay, ang aking seatmate, si Noel, Mercy at Trish, si Father Divino Santos Rabang at uh, si Nanay Alejandrina, at uh, si Maria Teresa Aboitis at si Mara at si Lito at uh, no Mario at Lita Aningalan. Nandito na kaya yan o nasa abroad? Okay. And um, of course we'd like to pray sa intentions po ng ating mga nagpadala ng iba't ibang messages sa Facebook at Messenger si Isabel Chini Tampis. Si Rolando Villanueva, good health para po sa kanya nanay na si Avelina Villanueva. Si Maria Socorro Puentes para po sa healing ni Claro 
at uh, gayon din po si eternal repose ni Ebanghelina, Heliodoro at uh, lahat po ng kaluluwa sa purgatorio, si Pilar Chocolato, yan. Prayers para po kay Hector, Pilar, Florentino, Mirna, Raul, Father Nene, Sinoy, Paciencio, Salvacion, and all the poor souls in purgatory. We'd like also to pray for uh, Lilet Pijo Villamor, no? And uh, lahat po ng mga victims ng earthquake sa Mindanao. <clears throat> Gayun din po, we'd like to pray for Patria Kunanan, Thanksgiving, and good health and guidance and protection para po sa kanyang buong pamilya. Lalo-lalo na po ang kanyang paboritong apo na si Calix, no? Uh, one day dapat makamamit ko itong favorite ni Patria na si Calix, yan. Si Mariludan, no? For uh, guidance, safety, protection, good health ng kanilang pamilya. Gayun din po ang grupo ni Captain Ronald De Los Reyes, mga officers and crew ng MV Andromeda uh, sa ilalim po ng Inter-Orient Maritime Enterprises. Gayun din po, we'd like to pray for the intentions of Dennis Leguadiva. Yan, maraming salamat ha, Dennis, sa iyong ipinadala. And of course, we'd like to pray for... Uh, Our dentist, si Dr. Rico Martin at Axel Gerucci. Ganyan din po si Dr. Azel J. Tan. Sila po ay nandyan sa Gerucci Dental and Implant Center sa ikaapat na palapag ng Montivar Building. Diyan po sa Jupiter, Makati. Go to them for all your dental needs. Kompletong kompleto po sila. Anyway, ngayon po ay Epiphany Sunday at uh, gusto kong tignan yung atin pong mga pagbasa ngayon bilang leksyon sa continuing revelation. Patuloy, patuloy na pagpapahayag, patuloy na pagpapakilala, patuloy na pangungusap ng Diyos sa atin. God never stops. Amen? O. Oh. Ngayon, ano ang malalaman natin sa mga pagbasa ngayon about the continuing revelation of God? Una sa Isaiah chapter 61 to 6, ito po ang first reading natin. Sabi po ng propetang Isaiah, The glory, the splendor of the Lord shines upon you. The glory, the splendor of the Lord shines upon you. And totoo po yun. If you just look around you, Christmas or no Christmas, the glory of the Lord is all around us. Every morning, it's the glory of the Lord. No? So, every nation on earth will adore. So, ang response po natin sa pagpapahayag ng Diyos is worship. Adoration belongs only to God. So, kayo ba? Nagagawa po natin niya, adoration, tulad ng mga magis, no? Every day, we should end the day with adoration. Huh? And the second reading, sabi po ng Apostol Pablo sa mga Kristiyano sa Epeso, kanya, uh, we are stewards of God's graces. Oh, totoo yun, ha? Huh? We are stewards of God's graces. Talagang tayo'y punong-puno ng biyaya pagbibiyaya kagandahang loob ng Diyos no at lahat ng ito ay nangungusap tungkol sa Diyos but of course ang pinakatampok na kwento po natin Epiphany Sunday yung gospel Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 to 12 ang pagbisita ng mga magi mula po sa silanganan ito po yung Mesopotamia o Iraq kung tawagin po natin ngayon. What do we learn from the story of the Magis? No? Uh, unang-una po, meron palang iba't ibang lebelo ng pagpapahayag ng Diyos. Unang-una, nakita ng mga Magis yung tinatawag natin na diaphany. No? <laughs> Ang ganda, no? Diaphany. 
the glory of God appearing through, shining through the star. Dayapani, tawag po dyan. Kapag ang Diyos, ang kalwalhatian ng Diyos, nakikita natin sa kalikasan, sa iba't ibang mga pagpaparamdam ng kalikasan, earthquake, typhoon, etc., kagandahan ng bundok, this is all diaphany. Okay? And then, second level, mas malalim, theophany. Nakikita mo ang Diyos sa kwento ng buhay. So, yun din nakita ng mga magis. Sabi nila, ba, may bagong between. Ah, nangyayari na yung nakalagay sa kasulatan. May bagong hari ang mga hudyo. So, ang Diyos kumikilos sa kwento ng buhay po natin. Graduation, kasal, ordinasyon, uh, ano pa yung iba't ibang mga okasyon sa buhay natin. Ano? So, promosyon, di ba? Retirement, no? Pagigi, ang pagkakaroon ng apo, kaya ikaw may apostolate na. No? So, lahat ng ito, these are theophanies of the Lord. From diaphany to theophany. Pero ang pinaka tampok na pagpapahayag ng Diyos, epiphany. Ito yung manifestation, ultimate, full, ganap na pagpapakilala ng Diyos sa pamamagitan po ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. At ito po yung fullness of the Christian faith. Kaya nga po, sa ating mga kapatid na Greek Orthodox, No, at yung ibang mga Kristiyano, sabi nila ang araw na ito ang tunay na Pasko sapagkat ngayon talagang lumantad ang kalwalhatian ng Diyos hindi lang para sa Hudyo, para sa lahat sa pamagitan ng katauhan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa, Epiphany Sunday mula po sa oratory ni Maria, Reina ng mga Apostol. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church. For my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Epiphany of our Lord. Epiphany means manifestation. The birth of Jesus is meant not only for the people of Israel, but also for, for all nations, represented by the Magi, or the three kings. May this revelation shine forth on everyone so that the power of salvation may be shared by all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. 
You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, the Lord shines and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light and kings by your shining regions. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you the wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Median and Epha, all from Sheba, 
shall come bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment and though the king, and with your justice, the king's son, he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the Isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation will on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising, and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, and I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen as its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, 
they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Gandang umaga po sa ating lahat at Merry Christmas and Happy New Year at Happy Three Kings po sa ating lahat. Today we celebrate the Feast of Epiphany or Three Kings and we have heard in our uh, sa ating unang pagbasa ang liwanag ay nagtataboy ng dilim at sa liwanag tayo ay nakakakita sa liwanag na ilalantad ang mga bagay at sa liwanag nakikilala natin ang mga uri ng bagay na ating nakikita sa liwanag nabibigyan tayo ng pag-asa Kaya naman sabi ni Propeta Isayas, tayo ay iniimbitahang rise up in splendor. Ang kadakilaan ng Diyos ay sumas, sumisilay na sa atin. Tayo ay iniimbitahang uh, tumayo ano po, at hanapin ang, at mambuhay ng merong liwanag sa ating buhay. Merong pag-asa. Sinasabi naman po ng ating Ibanghelyo, sabi ni Saint, uh, ng ating ikalawang pagbasa, sabi ni St. Paul, Ang revelation daw noong una ay naibigay exclusive para sa mga Israelita. Kaya naman ng, sa, kanyang, uh, sa kanyang mensahe, sinasabi niya na itong uh, revelation na ito ay para sa lahat. Itong manifestation na ito na pinakita ng Panginoon ay hindi lamang exclusive na maililigtas ang, mga, ang piniling uh, bayan ng Israel, kung hindi para sa lahat, kasama na rin dito ang mga Gentiles. Kasama na ang lahat ng all nations. Kaya sinasabi ni St. Paul, hindi lamang ito exclusive na kanyang, na kanya rin tinanggap. Ganon din sinasabi niya, ito ay uh, liwanag na ito, itong buhay na ito, itong pagliligtas na binigay ng Panginoon ay para sa lahat. Kaya tayo ay, uh, lahat ay iniligtas ng Panginoon. At sa atin pong Ibanghelyo, narinig natin yung uh, bisita ng mga ng tatlong haring mago o yung tinatawag nating three kings ang liwanag ng tala ang naging gabay ng tatlong haring mago upang matagpuan ang bagong silang na ating Panginoon sinasabi nila na ang daladala nilang uh, gold frankincense and myrrh ay simbolo simbolo na kung saan yung gold ay sinasabing ito daw yung ito yung uh, nagsisimbolo ng kingship of Jesus. Ang frankincense naman ay sinasabing simbolo ng priestly role of Jesus. At yung mirror na common na ginagamit sa anointing or the mirror and an anointing in preparation for burial, sinasabing it prefigures the sacrificial death that Jesus will undergo during uh, sa kanyang uh, yung ini, sa kanyang pagpapako sa krus balang araw ano po sinasabing ito ay uh, simbolo ngunit sinasabi din sa atin na ang pagbisita ng mga magi ay uh, ipinapakita sa atin na yung tala na gumagabay sa kanya ay hindi lamang ex- uh, ganun din sa sinasabi ng ating unang pagbasa na ito ay exclusive ito ay ito ay hahanapin ng lahat ng mga bansa ano po at dito matatagpuan nila yung liwanag na ibinibigay ng Panginoon Kaya naman sa ating buhay, natatanong natin yung, yung bagay na kung saan, uh, ang, ano ba itong manifestation ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Bagamat nakita natin na itong celebration natin ay manifestation na kung saan, ang Diyos ay nagbibigay ng daan, ng bagong daan para sa atin, sa ating buhay na kung saan nung una ay uh, namumuhay tayo sa kadiliman, na hindi natin alam yung ating pupuntahan. Ngayon, nakita natin, na ang ating palang buhay ay meron ng sense of direction sapagkat binigyan tayo ng Diyos ng gabay, ng ilaw na kung saan atin ang alam kung saan na ulit yung ating buhay patungo at ito ay patungo sa kaluwalhatian ng Diyos Ama at sabi po ng at ito po ay merong dalawang punto ano po kung una yung, yung sina, ito pong sa ating mga pagbasa ay yung ipipani is a manifestation of Jesus Baby Jesus into the world. Ano po, ipinakikilala sa atin na ang Panginoong Jesus ay isinilang na sa ating buhay, sinilang at naging liwanag ng ating buhay at naging pag-asa natin. At ito rin po ay, ang ikalawang punto ay 
ang personal epiphany of the Lord to us sa ating buhay. Ano po ba yung uh, manifestation ng Diyos sa ating personal na buhay? Sabi po, kapag titignan natin yung uh, definition ng uh, epiphany, aside from ito ay ibig sabihin ito ay manifestation of the Lord, in common terms like sa Cambridge Dictionary, sabi po dito, ang epiphany daw ay a moment when you suddenly feel that you understand or suddenly become conscious of. Ito po yung moment daw na bigla kang aha, mga aha moment mo. Ano. So ito po rin yung sinasabi ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Uh, pagdating ng Panginoon, ano ba yung aha moment mo? Ano ba yung mga nadidiscover mo sa buhay mo, sa personal nating buhay? Yan din po ay isang invitasyon sa atin. Hindi lamang po invitasyon na para sa lahat, lahat po ay inireveal ang Panginoon na mamahalin at ililigtas niya hindi lamang exclusive na tao kundi pa- para sa ating lahat. Ganon din po ang invitasyon sa atin. Ano ba yung manifestation ng Diyos sa ating buhay? At alam ko po, iba-iba ito. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin pare-parehas dumating yung uh, liwanag ng Diyos sa aking buhay. Sa papaanong paraan ang Panginoon ay nagpapakita sa ating buhay. Sa ating buhay araw-araw. Sa panahon ngayon, kapag narinig natin yung mga salitang revelasyon, ano po, mabilis lumiliwanag yung bilog nating mga mata. At saka inisip natin, ano kaya yung revelasyon na yan? Ano po? O kaya naman po, yung revelasyon ng buhay ng ibang tao, yan yung sinasabi natin. Kaya minsan sa TV, kapag nadinig natin, abangan, ano po, susunod, abangan ang revelasyon sa buhay ng ganitong tao. Yan po, ano, mabilis tayong uh, active na active tayo sabi natin ano kaya yung buhay nila ano kaya yung magiging uh, chismis na masasagap ko dito sa revelasyon na ito pero at minsan po nakikita din natin yan sa iba't iba no po iba't ibang uh, pagkakataon minsan revelasyon din sa politika ano po revelasyon sa uh, sa mga buhay ng TV personalities ano po diyan nat gustong-gusto natin yung mga ganyang klasing revelasyon pero ang tanong sa atin ano ba yung revelasyon ng Diyos para sa buhay natin ano ba yung ating ano ba yung binibigay niyang liwanag para sa atin tayo ba ay handa sa kanyang binibigay na regalo lalong-lalo na ito pong season na ito sa nagdaang kapaskuhan at patuloy pa rin itong season ng kapaskuhan sa ating buhay. Ano po? Ano ba yung natanggap nating regalo na kung saan naging uh, liwanag ito ng ating buhay? Na natagpuan natin na ang Panginoon pala ang sentro ng ating buhay. Sa pagdiriwang po ito ng uh, kapistahan ng Epipanya ni Jesus, tayo ay inaanyayahan na lubusang kilalanin ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. Ang Panginoon ay nagkakaloob sa atin ng gabay, ng tala upang ating sundan patungo sa kaliwanagan, patungo sa piling ng Diyos Ama. Amen. We profess our faith. I believe in one God. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, God substantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In Jesus Christ, all have become children of the Father and heirs of salvation. Let us pray that we may be worthy of this great gift. We shall say, Lord, let your light shine upon us. Lord, let your light upon us. For the universal church, may she bring together men and women from afar and lead them all to the light of Christ's gospel, we pray. Lord, let your light shine upon us. For church leaders and missionaries, may they gather into the community of the people of God the rich diversity of gifts of peoples and cultures, we pray. Lord, let your light shine upon us. For those whose lives are covered by the darkness of sin, unbelief, and suffering, may they see the light of salvation and walk in its shining radiance, we pray. Lord, let your light shine upon us. For interreligious dialogue, may the hurtful things of the past not stand in the way of mutual respect, yearning for truth and the search for God on the part of Christians and non-Christians alike, we pray. Lord, let your light shine upon us. Let us now pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, let your light shine upon us. Heavenly Father, let the light of your Son shine within us so that we may be guided through the pathways of life and be united with you in glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of Holy, Holy Church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray of these gifts of your Church, in which are offered now not, go now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but He who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
are indeed, indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. For us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, let me praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer during Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I'm about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right, because our Creator 
has everything in his hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. Go, go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed to us to participate. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you, too, a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. And so when you, your pilgrimage is ended, May you come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Maraming salamat sa ating paring tagapagdiwang ngayon pong unang linggo ng 2020 at kapistahan po, dakilang kapistahan ng Epiphany. Yan, ang talagang ultimate na pagpapakilala ng Diyos sa katauhan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And uh, ngayon naman po'y dadako tayo sa patuloy po nating pabaong katikismo sa encyclical po ni Pope Francis Laudato Si, Chapter 3, The Human Roots of the Ecological Crisis. No? Kung uh, nagkakakrisis man daw tayo sa atin pong mundo ngayon, no? iba na po yung mga bagyo, ibang klase mga bagyo, matatapang. No? Iba na po yung earthquake, no? talagang malalakas. Eh, ito daw po ay sapagkat hindi lang po natin inabuso ang mundo kung hindi attitude ng tao. Attitude. Everything starts with attitude. No? So last time nakita natin 
yung technocratic attitude ng tao na lahat ng bagay eh only for the purpose of uh, development kaya nagkakaroon ng overdevelopment no ngayon naman po uh, pag pagpapatuloy po ni Pope Francis sa Laudato Si paragraph 115 onwards kanya Uh, nandun din ang epekto ng masamang modern anthropocentrism, anthropocentrism. Uh, anthropos ibig po sabihin tao, anthropology, tao, ang pag-aaral ng kultura, ugali ng tao, anthropology, no? So mahalaga po yung ang tao, anthropos, no? Pero alam nyo, ang sabi po ni Pope Francis, ang mali natin ngayon, yung modern anthropology at anthropocentrism, masyadong isinentro, hindi lang yung tao, kung hindi, ako, ako ang tao. Ha? Hindi tayo, ako ang tao. So, kahit yung mga ibang tao, gamitan lang. Oo, oh, di ba? O, oh, gamitan lang yan eh. Mm, gamitan lang eh. Anong gamit niyan? Oh. Isipin natin, kung ganyan po ang tingin natin sa bawat isa sa atin, wala na tayong respeto sa bawat isa. Anong pakinabang ko dyan? Kung wala, wag na. Yan sa batang paslit na yan, anong pakinabang ko dyan? Kung, wag na, kung wala, eh di wag na. Wa? Wag na yung ituloy ang pagbubuntis. Anong pakinabang ko dyan sa matandang yan na uugod-ugod na? Ay kung wag na, liability yan, eh, Huwag nang alagaan pa. No? So, yung pagsisentro natin sa buhay natin sa ating sarili bilang ako ang tao. Ako ang tao. No? Buti sana kung tayo ang tao. Eh. Hindi. Ako ang tao. Masyadong selfish, sabi nga natin. Ano? At ito ang sabi po ni Pope Francis. Sabi niya, when human beings fail to find their true place in the world, they misunderstand themselves, end up acting against themselves. Not only has God given the earth to man for use, but man too is God's gift to man. Bawat isa sa atin ay regalo sa isa't isa. Eh kung hindi mo na makikita yung aspect ng regalo sa isa't isa, gamitan na lang. So, Huwag tayong masusurpresa, sabi po ni Pope Francis, kung ganun din po ang pananaw natin sa mundo. Domination. Oh, hindi, sabi po ni Pope Francis, it must be responsible stewardship with respect. Oh, yun ang dapat nating ibalik. No? And uh, along that line, kanya, dapat nating tignan na kahit yung mga bagay na lesser beings, mas mababa sa atin, they have also a value to coexist. Yan, no? Oh, hindi porket ikaw yung tao, ikaw yung pinakamagaling, ikaw lang ang dapat mag-exist. Lahat ng bagay, paglilingkuran ka. Hindi. So, lahat ng bagay, kahit yung mas mababa sa atin, there is an importance of these things, no? We cannot presume, sabi po ni Pope Francis, to heal the relationship of nature and environment. Kung una sa lahat, we cannot heal our fundamental human relationship. Kasi nga, ecology is relationship. Kung iba ang tingin mo sa relasyon, gamitan, domination, then you carry it on. Hindi lang sa tao. Kung hindi, kahit sa pananaw mo sa bundok, pananaw mo sa ilog, pananaw mo sa hayop, pananaw mo sa bulaklak, ay, gamit lang lahat yan. Akin yan. Dapat yan, may pakinabang ako. yon Modern anthropocentrism. No? Now, dahil po dyan, uh, sabi po ni Pope Francis, uh, maraming tao ngayon, ang tingin nila sa mga bagay-bagay ay practical relativism. Yan. Mahalaga ba to? Well, depende. Practical. Oh, relativism, no? The culture of relativism, sabi po ni Pope Francis, has disorganized, disordered our way of treating one another as objects, objects 
the exploitation of children, the develop, uh, abandonment of the elderly. Nawala. Ang nawala yung tinatawag po natin na objective truth. Lahat ay nagiging subjective. It depends on you. Kung may napapala ka dyan. No? So, now, uh, besides this, sabi ni Pope Francis, dapat ang tingin din natin kung ganun sa trabaho ay hindi lamang employment. Yan. Kasi kung employment ang tingin natin sa trabaho ng tao, ay din natural, paramihan, productivity, quantity ang usapan, padamihan, pabilisan. Pero sabi ni Pope Francis, teka, ang paggawa, kung titignan natin ang tradisyon ng mga monks, monastics, ora et labora, yan ang palaging sinasabi ni Benedict, no? Saint Benedict of Norcia, ora et labora, manalangin at gumawa. So yung paggawa, hindi lang po employment, hindi lang po paramihan, kung hindi, it is a way of personal growth, developing dalawang bagay sa atin, the ability to recollect, and the ability to be creative creative ha ah? mapanlikha yon so dapat ang tingin natin sa trabaho hindi lang sa dami kung hindi paano ito nagiging expression ng pagiging mapanlikha ng bawat isa no i i think that is the proper thing for us to see kung ang tingin natin ay eh, ganyan then ang kalikasa ma-appreciate din natin no na nature in itself is an expression of the creativity of God inviting us also to make use of nature to be creative to express hindi lang yung abilidad natin technique technology skill de kung hindi our imagination our hearts Yan, no? So, sana nga po, no? uh, as we begin to appreciate now the earth where we live, ganito yung pananaw natin. Hindi lang yung mga scientific way na uh, paano natin i-reduce yung carbon dioxide sa hangin, paano natin pananatilihin na yung water supply ay uh, mataas. No? Ayan, lahat yan, scientific pa rin yan, eh. technological pa rin yan. De, Dapat it must begin with the right perspective, the heart, uh, and the mind. Looking at nature and one another as gifts. Gifts of God who loves us and who wants us to express our love also to others. Sa ngalan po ni Father Resi de la Peña, At lahat po ng bumubuo ng uh, Sambuhay TV Mass at ng St. Paul Audiovisuals, inaimbitahan naman namin kayo na maging uh, kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator. Una, nasa screen po natin ang atin pong mga accounts for your love offerings. Maraming salamat po doon sa mga regular na nagpapadala. And let me remind you, malaki po ang plano natin for our Sambuhay Apostolate doon po sa pagde-develop nito sa parokya sa Our Lady of Sorrow sa Pasay. Kaya nga po doon natin ibubuhos ang inyo pong mga contributions, no? And then later on, you can come and visit the parish and see the development, no? Pangalawa, uh, nasa screen din po natin ang iba't ibang mga uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube accounts natin, cable channels natin nagamit po sa pagbo-broadcast at live stream at uploading ng atin pong Sambuhay TV Mass. Ipakilala po natin ito sa ating mga kaibigan, lalo-lalo na po yung mga Pilipino sa abroad na talagang uh, sabik na sabik sa liturhiyang Pilipino. No? And then, nasa screen din po natin ang atin pong dedicated text number para naman po sa inyong mga mass intentions at uh, iba pang mga feedbacks. Sa ngalan po ni Father De La Peña, lahat po ng bumubuo ng St. Paul Audiovisuals, iiwan po namin ngayon ang 
Prayer ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear, my sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you. Jesus, my God, Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Amen.